welcome back to my channel. So, in some of my Instagram posts and a couple of my videos, I've had a couple of people asking me a few recurring questions about like what my new job is, what my current job is, um, kind of a roundup of the year sort of thing. So I thought it would be handy to do it all in one concise video. So this is going to be kind of a review of 2019, hopes for 2020 <laughs> video and I hope that you will enjoy it. It is mostly going to be obviously personal stuff about myself so if you are not really into that then sorry I did film the get ready with me of this look today so that will probably be coming out very very soon um but yeah this is just going to be a little ramble from me so let's get started so 2019 how would I sum up 2019 hmm okay it was a hectic year. It was incredibly stressful. A lot of bad things did happen and I've been feeling really guilty because I, you know, I want so desperately to be this incredibly positive person all the time who always sees the bright side in everything but sometimes that is just not how life works and I did go through an awful lot this year that was difficult and heartbreaking and really really challenging for me and that's okay to admit because that's part of growing um, but I did also have some really good times in 2019 I um, got to be involved in a lot of really wonderful performances I created a dissertation with one of my favorite people on the earth and I will be so incredibly proud of that performance until the day I die <laughs> because it was all us, we wrote the script, we rewrote lyrics to all of the songs that we used, um, you know, the set was ours, the lighting was ours, it was our baby and I'm still slightly annoyed that I feel we got massively undergraded on it but such is life. Um, but the pride I feel at having created something that people liked, that people thought was funny, um, that people enjoyed to watch, that is a feeling that no one can ever take away from me. So I am so incredibly grateful I got to do that this year. Um, I got to be involved in a lot of really good concerts. I felt like I grew as a performer a lot in confidence and in ability this year. Um, so I'm incredibly grateful for that. And I spent some really amazing times with the people that I loved. Um, I got to spend some great times with my family, um, try not to cry now, um, and I got to see my nanny and spend some good time with her and she got to see a lot of my performances before, um, she unfortunately passed away this year, so it's been, yeah, that was one of the hardest things, obviously, to go through this year, but, um, I love her and I know she was proud of me, so. Oh, I didn't want to cry in this video. Oh my god. Oh. But I have also received um, so much support this year and so much encouragement and love from my family in general. They are really kind, wonderful, supportive people and I'm really grateful to have them in my life and I'm even more grateful almost to have my amazing friends in my life because friends are the family that you choose and mine are pretty gosh darn amazing so thank you to everyone who has been kind to me this year who has been supportive who has been lovely um you mean the world to me every single one of you and this year obviously my youtube channel also grew quite a lot which is really exciting I felt like I made a lot of my best videos in this year. I made videos that I was very, very proud of, um, especially over the summer when I didn't have a lot to do, so I just got to be really creative with it. I love, love, loved the um, princess, Disney princess video that I did that I filmed in our horribly overgrown garden in my uni house, but I felt like it gave it a little like fantasy overgrown woodland feel. I was really proud of that video. I loved my... Um, vintage lookbook, my student one for this year, um, the petticoat and the what Katie did brand reviews I was really happy with. I just made a lot of videos this year that I was like, this is good. 
this is good <laughs> and um yeah so i was really happy with that um so this year has also, I feel like I have to talk about this a little bit, not too much detail because I do like to have boundaries on my YouTube channel um, and there are certain things that I don't talk about obviously, but this year has been an incredibly difficult year for my mental health so I think the first resolution of 2020 is to be kind to myself and to be understanding and to continue getting the help and trying to get more help that I know that I need. You are never weak, you are never um, unworthy of help, no matter what you think, you know, everyone has that mentality of I'm not bad enough to seek help, please do, you are always worthy of receiving support and it's really important to validate your own struggles and recognise that you are trying as hard as you can to be better and to surround yourself with people who will help you and who you can go to in a crisis. So there's that little thing done. Um, I realized some things about myself this year that, you know, some of them are really hard and some of them are really good um, that I'm not quite able to talk about on here for various reasons, but you know, they were good. <laughs> and yeah, it's been an incredibly up and down year, but I think when I'm like 99, wizened, old, still wearing my hair rollers and my petticoats in some armchair at the back of a family gathering, I think I will look back on this year and be like, it was a bitch but it was kind of worth it and it was very necessary as a year for me, I think. So now let's talk about jobs so obviously this year i graduated university and i had to move home because i couldn't get a job in london um because getting jobs is very very hard and i i don't want to say too much about where i was working because i don't know if i'm allowed to talk about i don't are you allowed to talk about places that you've worked in on YouTube are you allowed to do that but anyway basically long story short I ended up working in a small shop in a town that is relatively near me um, as a part-time sales assistant I have been working there since end of September or beginning of October I believe and then I am finishing on um, at the end of this week in January so I worked there for a while and I think retail is a strange beast. Um, I think everyone should probably work in some sort of retail or service position at some point in their life because wow is it eye-opening as to how people can treat people in service positions. Um, but I've been exceedingly lucky in that my manager has been wonderful, the girls I work with have been so so sweet. Um, the job just wasn't the right fit for me. Um, it's in a modern clothing store which comes with a whole array of complications that I can't really talk about. Um, I would be a lot happier working in a shop where I get to present myself in the way that I am most comfortable. Um, but yeah, it just, you know, not that there's anything wrong with it, but it's just not what I want to do with my life. So I have been very steadily searching for other jobs and I am now actually due to start very soon a new six month term of employment and I will be moving basically across the country, which is quite nerve wracking. I will be living genuinely on my own for the first time. Um, it's going to be my first sort of striking out little adventure. I'm really excited about it. And I can't tell you too much about where I'm working, but it's a private institution and I will be basically the gopher. So go for this, go for that, go do this, go do that. And I'm really excited about it. You know, it's a really great thing to have on my CV. It's six months, so no matter how it goes, I have that very fixed um, time frame, which I'm really happy with. And the part of the country I'm moving to is really beautiful, so hopefully I will be able to get some really lovely photos and videos, and I'll get to meet new people, and yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited, genuinely excited, I'm not putting on a front for the camera or anything, 
I thought I would be terrified, but I'm just ready. I'm excited and I'm ready to start this new little adventure of my own. So yeah, that's really important for me. So 2020 is the year for me that my goals are, I want to find sustainable happiness. That is always something that's incredibly important to me. I want to be a positive, good force in the world. I want to be more of an ethical or sustainable consumer of things. So, you know, like I think I talked about this a lot in my last video, you know, making sure that I'm not buying into fast fashion or buying things for no reason, trying really hard to buy only cruelty-free brands, um, which is proving really difficult in the town that I live in because a lot the boots that we have is really small and a lot of it is brands that I know aren't cruelty-free, but when they're the only brands you have on offer, it's really hard. Um, and then what else do I want to do? I want to grow as a person. I think it's really important that you keep growing, you keep acknowledging your mistakes and your strengths and bigging yourself up. Um, I want to have more amazing times with the people that I love. I would like to do some more theatre work. I would like to maybe try and get my first professional theatre job. I need to update my headshots. Oh yeah, I did headshots for the first time. That was so much fun. And I would 100%, by the way, recommend um, Zach Cook Photography. He did mine and he was amazing. He's a genuinely lovely person. He's so talented. And I think I got my headshots done on like the 29th or the 30th and I needed them for the 5th and he made it happen so he was amazing he was so good could not recommend more um so yeah I need to get those updated because in those in those pictures I am ginger and I have a fringe and I am currently neither of those things so um I need to get some updates and I want to join more choirs, the place I'm going to work at has a couple of good choirs near it so that's something exciting for me. I want to um, keep making really fun YouTube videos because that's something I'm very passionate about. Of all the things on my list, getting a romantic partner isn't really on there. Um, so I guess that's something I should also talk about. Obviously this year I, um, I think I mentioned in a video before that I I was in a relationship um, that came to an end this year. Now this is something that I don't want to talk too heavily about because I love and respect the man that I was in a relationship with and I don't think it's fair for me to talk about our private business very publicly. Um, but all that anyone needs to know is that we love and care for each other, we are very good friends still, and he was an amazing person, and um, I bear no ill will towards him, of course. Um, but that was definitely strange as well, was coming out of a nearly three year relation relationship, relationship and learning kind of how to be on my own again. Um, that was definitely a trip, but I think I'm in a stage in my life where I need to stand on my own two feet first and getting into a serious romance isn't really on my agenda. I'm enjoying, um, I'm doing so many things, I want to be able to be free and that is something that's really important to me over trying to fit someone else into my life because I feel like I don't really know where I am and I need to be at home in myself and in my life and have something set up for me first before I try adding anyone else to that. So yeah, that is my opinion as far as romance goes. Um, this year I also tried really hard to learn a lot more sign language and that's something that I really want to keep doing this year. So if anyone who follows me knows sign, please, please, please tell me um, how good all of that was. Because I really, I really love signing. I think it's 
um, something that's really fun and um, a really good thing to know because so many different people are deaf or hard of hearing or just use sign anyway that it's a really useful language so yeah that's something that I did this year learning sign language <sighs> but I'm trying to look back on this year and I realized that as hard as it was and as much as I cried and as much as I went through and as much as this year really sucked so much some of the time I'm grateful for it I am happy and I think that last year's ickiness has set me up for this year's successes because I know this year is going to be successful because I am going to make it successful try me so I hope that this was an entertaining video to watch. Let me know what your resolutions or goals or anything like that is for 2020 in the comments below. We're in the roaring 20s. Let's do this. Let's make it an amazing year. And I am just so happy and excited to be getting started. So I love you all so very much. And don't forget that you can follow me for updates on all of my social media. So you can follow me on Instagram at a very vintage darling. You can follow me on Twitter at V Vintage Darling. All of the links will be in the description below. I love you all so very much and let's kick this year's butt. Au revoir.